The only thing people have been sending me all night is this Mario Kart 8 leak thing on EB Games. We need to talk about this right now. Honestly, when I first saw this, I approached it with a little bit of skepticism, but I did get a little excited as well. You know, I asked all I am and Nintendo Hype Channel. That's kind of what I do around here. But there is a bit more to this image than what it seems from the outside looking in. So let's go through this right now between you and I. Late last night, there were some screenshots posted of EB Games' website. And if you don't know this place, it's basically a store that's kind of like GameStop, but in different regions of the world. Sort of, sort of like game in the UK. But EB Games posted something on their website, and there were screenshots taken of it which showcased the Nintendo Switch and a couple of games added on. And out of all of these, we see some pretty interesting images. This one over here showcasing Breath of the Wild on the actual website all of these are just placeholder prices by the way i know some people are probably going to see that and be like um there's no fucking way i'm paying that much for a switch i guarantee you at least one person has seen those prices and said holy fuck this is crazy but no 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 trust me guys it's all good um but then again i don't think i have to explain that to you guys i mean it's not like your kids right there's a mario kart 8 switch they also have skyrim on there so, kind of typical, we expected these games to be on there, but there's something very interesting. Now, Mario Kart 8 is one of the games that are sort of rumored to get a remake or a revamp version, or with some extra stuff added in, like the DLC and whatnot. The thing is, when you zoom closely to the image, it says, quote, all new battle modes, 24 extra tracks, and 10 new characters. So this is what has everybody so damn excited when it comes to the Switch information that they found on the EB Games website. I've let you all know ahead of time, I'm not a Mario man, I could give a fuck about the little nigga, but I do admit that there being a confirmed remake or a reboot or whatever you want to call it with new stages and characters, I would be excited about that too if it were a game that I played. So I can understand where the, where the excitement is coming from from the guys who normally play this game. And the thing that I wanted to confirm, okay, well, if this was a screenshot taken from the EB Games website, would I be able to easily just go on there and see all this information for myself? So that's pretty much exactly what I did. I went to the website and this is what I see right here only two items the placeholder switch and the placeholder switch pro controller both for ridiculous prices therefore i'm wondering maybe eb games fucked up real bad and they just took down the stuff before they got caught by nintendo or maybe like i said there may be more to this than what we think and guys it seems like the latter of those two options is the case this image that we originally saw it's not real. It's confirmed by Liam Robertson. And this guy, if you don't if you don't know Liam Robertson, he's one of the well, I wouldn't say many leakers, but he's one of the main leakers that had a lot of credible information. We talking back to the Smash Brothers 3DS and Wii U days. Liam Robertson was the one who confirmed Mewtwo was in the game before Mewtwo was even confirmed as DLC. A lot of people were shitting on him, but it turns out his sources were correct, and that's just one of the many things he's done. His reputation sheet, it goes on extensively man the man's on unseen 64 he's bringing us a bunch of inside information this guy is basically the shadow force of the nintendo gaming scene and he said right here on his twitter i don't know where that art is from but it's not real now you may say that it's questionable that i trust him with such blind faith and maybe i shouldn't but I've seen too many things confirmed by him, information that he shouldn't have known, but he did know. Him, Laura Kate Dale, Emily Rogers, I feel like when it comes to Switch information, they pretty much got the cat in the bag. They know stuff that we wish we did. So I'm going to say right now, guys, even though there's a lot of excitement about this image in regards to Mario Kart 8 Switch, he also made another status. And this one was actually kind of funny where he said, it's just fan art, the numbers are wrong, and it's not called that. I'm not sure if that means, if you guys guys can see this, I'm, I don't know if that means that he actually knows what the title of the Mario Kart 8 remake port, whatever the fuck you may want to call it, does he really know the title of this thing when it actually does hit the Nintendo Switch? We know he knows a lot about that Switch Smash Brothers remake thing too, so all we can say is that we trust this man and whatever we saw with that EB Games leak is not real. So even though I kind of hyped it up and I made a lot of jokes in the beginning of the video in regards to EB Games fucking up, it does seem like we are going to be able to trust EB Games to have their ball sack after today. Nintendo won't have to kill them. Copy that. that.